Hi guys, so it's a little early, but I wanted to do a first impressions video on a foundation so I can wear it throughout the day and give you guys an update. Um, so I guess it'll be like a first impressions and just we'll see how um, how it lasts throughout the day and things like that because it does promise to be long lasting. Um, and it's the Alme TLC Truly Lasting Color 16 Hour Makeup. Looks like this. There's a CVS sticker right here, so just ignore that. But it looks like this. Comes in a one ounce bottle like most foundations do. And I have the shade 220, which is called Neutral. Um, and it's got a pump, which is exciting because many drugstore foundations do not have a pump. So yeah, we're just going to put this on and I'm going to apply it. Um, with this flat brush, the e.l.f. powder brush, and I'm going to push it into the skin um, because I feel like that's the best way to make a foundation last a long time because you're pushing it in rather than smearing it around um, but both my sponges that I use to apply foundation are dirty right now. Um, so this says it's going to help nourish and protect skin for 16 hours. It looks freshly applied all day. It's hypoallergenic. It won't clog pores. It's oil free. And then it says the same thing in French and Spanish. Um, this has a... does not have an SPF in it. Anyway, so I am not wearing any primer. I just uh, I cleanse my, cleanse my skin at 7 a.m. So, I mean, it's not like I've been freshly showered for forever. But I did just wash my face because I showered last night. And I have moisturizer and... Um, what's that? word call oh eye cream um, so I'm going to put some of this on the back of my hand we'll see how good the pump action is we'll do two pumps and see how much that covers okay uh, so again the shade 220 which is neutral that was one that said it's gonna match the most so I don't have any dry well Maybe some dry patches, so I don't think I'm going to buff on that much, but um, we'll see. Okay, here it goes. I feel like I read somewhere that this said it was supposed to be like um, medium coverage, medium buildable. So we'll see how that ends up working out. The shade is really nice. It almost is like blending into my my skin tone because it is going on quite neutral. But it's almost blending to be a little bit more golden undertoned. Okay. The scent smells like expired mascara which sort of smells like paint so that's a complaint I have but I'd rather have something smell like it naturally smells with all of the ingredients than have a bunch of fragrances added in but I feel like it's just a better idea you can avoid putting fragrances on your face especially um, if they're gonna be sitting there all day I do notice that it is drying down quite quickly like it it feels like it's really sticking to my face like really clinging which normally you'd see um, in something that has a high SPF content because titanium dioxide is often used not only as a sunscreen but even if a, a foundation has no SPF rating in it it's often used as like a binding ingredient um, from my research, at least. Does this one have titanium dioxide in it? Yeah, titanium dioxide. That's what I thought. So I'm going to go in with another pump, which the pump is good. It, like, dispenses just the right amount of product. So that's a big plus. And I'm going to build it up in some areas. See if I can't get a little bit more coverage out of it. Because there's nothing better than being able to have like a foundation and a concealer in one product, you know, not having to go in um, 
with a separate concealer just to get a little bit more coverage in certain areas if you can just build the foundation up. It's really not looking too heavy. I know like no matter what, it's going to cling to any dry patches. That's just how foundations work. And normally I wear a, the Corez face primer, which has hydrating properties to it. And so that really helps with dryness on my face. But um, it's not really clinging as much as I would have thought that's something that's long wearing typically would. Like Revlon Color Stay, don't even talk about it. Like that just will cling like nobody's business. Yeah, it is drying down. Like, as I'm sort of moving my brush around, it's sort of sticking a little bit. It's not remaining smooth, which I like. That That's good for me because it gave me enough time to go in and blend. But it's not going to stay sticky the entire time. Like, that's my problem that I have with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Is it looks really wonderful and it blends super well, but it never sets. Ever. And, like, when you go in and use powder... Um, the powder just really sticks to the brush and um, not so much your face like you end up taking more foundation off than you put powder on do you know what I mean like as you place powder on it just will sort of come off on your brush so on these like non dry areas I can buff a little bit with no issue yeah, so it's definitely dried down. So I'm going to go, I think I'm going to try and go without powder just to see how long it will last. Um, but I'm going to be taking pictures. Hopefully I'll be able to get, I'll take some pictures before I leave. Alrighty, so let's just go over the... Um, I guess the pros and cons. Um, the pros, I really like the pump. The pump is a nice thing to have because you don't, you can, you know, dispense the right amount of product and it's a good pump because some foundation pumps really suck. Um, but this one's quite good. I like the packaging. You know, it's nice and sleek. It's tall and skinny. It's probably pretty good for traveling. Um, it is a glass container. I like the shade. It is a neutral shade, so it doesn't pull too pink or too golden. But I like that because it does seem to like blend into uh, my skin tone. I don't look overly beige right now, which is good. Um, I like that it dries down and gives you some time to blend, but it also um, dries down, and so it feels like I'm not going to have to set it with powder. Like it'll stick to my face without um, slipping and sliding around or without, um, you know clinging in the second I apply it and then not being able to blend it because there's nothing worse than that. Um, I like the coverage. It is medium coverage but definitely buildable. I mean you saw how I built it up on my cheeks. Obviously there's some things that foundation just won't cover that I'm going to need a separate concealer for and like my really dark marks. But for the most part it covered up all my minor imperfections which I mean I can't ask for anything more. Um, I like the finish. It is a natural matte and I can still tell a little dimension to my skin. The only thing is it doesn't have a really wide shade range but um, I don't think Almay really does. They make a lot of neutral shades for the most part so I guess they're assuming that it'll just work for everyone's skin tone. Um, I wouldn't recommend probably putting this around your eyes because I can feel like my eyelids sticking. Yeah, so I will take a picture before I leave and then when I get home from school, which I am in school from 8 to about 145 or 815 to 145 and then so I'll get home uh, I'll take a picture at 2 o'clock and you'll see I can't leave this on 16 hours I, I can't even if I wanted to but um, I hope you guys enjoyed this part and um, I will catch you on the flip side Hi guys, so this is the current state of my face. It is now 1.55-ish, something like that. Um, so this is what it looks like after, so I put that on at 7 a.m. this morning and it's almost two, so almost seven hours. And this is what it looks like without powder. 
Um, now I did put a little powder on my eyes, and as you can see there's like no greasiness on my eyes, just because the foundation felt a little tacky and a little sticky, so like every time I would try and blink my eyelids would like stick to my crease area, which was a little strange. Um, but considering the fact that I did not powder it and I didn't blot at all throughout the day, um, I mean, it, look at it, I mean, there's just a little bit of shine breaking through right here. I do have large pores, and so um, I feel like that might have something to do with, like, just the amount of oil that comes through on my face. I would imagine that with, like, an oil control primer, um, that this would look really good. Um, or even powder instead of, like, a, a primer. Um, but I really am impressed with it. Um, still sitting out here on my counter. As you can see, like, look at the shade. It looks very, very, like, neutral beige in the container. But when on my face, it looks like my skin tone. What is that? Is that hair? <laughs> There's been a hair stuck to my face all day, I guess. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I really like the foundation. I'm very pleased with it. Um, and I didn't notice any oxidation either, which is definitely important for someone with oily skin because um, that's when it tends to be a little bit more prone to oxidation is when you have oily skin. Um, so yeah, if you can find your shade and you um, need a foundation that's going to last quite a long time, I would recommend the Alme TLC Truly Lasting Color. Um, and I believe this was twelve ninety nine at CVS. I think I'm going to go back and buy a couple more foundations and do a couple more like first impressions on them because I wanted to try the Wake Up and then I wanted to try Neutrogena Healthy Skin and then the L'Oreal Lumi. No, that's a little too... I don't know. Maybe a couple more foundations, but if this is something that you guys like, then let me know and I will be glad to do more first impressions or just individual product reviews because I feel like that's something that I don't do. Um, I don't know why. I feel like I'd rather like round up good products and talk about just one. But if that's something you guys would be interested in, like me doing, absolutely let, let me know. And if you've seen any videos or any products in any of the videos that I've done and you want further reviews on them, please let me know because I would be glad to do that for you guys. Um, and I think that's it. I'll talk to everybody later. Bye, guys.